And for more, our Trevier Gonzalez joins us live. Trevier, what exactly is happening where you're at right now? Javier, we're at the corner of Carroll Lane and SPID. This was where Officer Alan McComb was killed a year ago today. Now, it was just right behind me where people were lighting candles and laying down roses in his honor. Now, we're going to go ahead and show you some pictures I uh, took of that vigil. Now, McComb was with the Corpus Christi Police Department for seven years. Now, during that time, he was part of the SWAT team and honor guard. He was also one of the six officers to receive a life-saving reward after rescuing a man from a burning building a burning vehicle excuse me on New Year's Day in 2019. McCollum is also a 21 year veteran of the army and just within the hour we spoke with the chief of police who says even a year later this kind of organizing is necessary in order to heal. The loss of somebody like Alan you know affects families and friends and police departments and communities and, and it's important that we we come and we, we pay our respects and tributes and we move on, and that's, a, that's what it's about. So. Now, there were numerous members of the police and fire departments, as well as just everyday people here, right over here, laying down roses. It's completely cleared out now, but if you were there, you remember, and it was a very emotional moment for friends and family. Officer McCollum was 46 years old. He's survived by his wife and three daughters. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Trevor Gonzalez, Chris 6 News. Javier? All right, Trevier, thank you so much. The Corpus Christi Police Department also took a moment to remember him today by highlighting Officer McCollum's end of watch.